grants. We're a research team out of MIT, the Material Science Department, and we're working on a new paradigm of membranes, namely graphene membranes for high flux throughput for reverse osmosis. Uh, what's cool about graphene is that it has a very high permeability, which means that water flows through much more easily than conventional membranes use today. Um, and as a result, that translates into into operational benefits for a reverse osmosis plant in the form of more water desalinated, lower energy costs, as well as lower pretreatment and brine disposal costs for the plant. Uh, we're in the process of fabricating these membranes. That's my job. That's what I'm trying to do. And trying to do that at a scale that is cost effective for the industry as well. So, um, like I said, we're a research team. We're really excited about our technology and it's great to be here. Could you talk a little bit about the um, economic feasibility and in terms of imp um, implementing the technology? Sure. So um, currently it's early stage research. So graphene is a more expensive material than the polymers that are used today in membranes. Uh, but the benefits that we're talking about are substantial in terms of capital cost reduction and energy cost reduction. So where exactly in that trade-off is still yet to be seen. Um, what we are doing is kind of a forward-thinking thought process is creating a membrane that can um, fit into current existing uh, plants. So it would be kind of like a plug-and-play membrane to replace the current membranes. And so uh, that would be the initial kind of market for this type of technology. And ultimately, we'd love to see RO plants designed around these high-flux membranes, uh, but that's a much, much longer term. Uh -huh.